Hi guys, welcome to part two of this three-part mini tutorial course for Native Instruments Massive, where we're checking out three common sound design mistakes to avoid while working inside of Massive. The second one that we're going to be looking at is don't forget that less is usually more. And by that I mean don't overuse everything in Massive just because it's there. I have seen so many people make sounds that have two filters, three oscillators active, the modulation oscillator active, the noise, the inserts, the effects. There's multiple modulation points going on in all of those. What it does is it, it, it kind of plays into the idea of the, what we talked about in part one. The, the sound won't work in a mix, but more than that, it just doesn't need to be that because each sound will usually have its own function or purpose inside of production. So you don't have to usually have three oscillators and you know three modulation oscillators active to get a huge sound. If you do, it usually means you've done something wrong in the step before it. So by that, I mean, if you get to the modulation oscillator and you're like, okay, I need this, my oscillators don't sound that cool or that good. Now I need to throw on like two filters and a bunch of modulation oscillator effects. And if that's the case, maybe you, cho maybe you chose the wrong wavetables for the sound you're going for. Maybe you should revisit the step before it before you start to overcomplicate things, right? So let's look at some sounds that we've, we're gonna be using in, the, in this tutorial, and it's just, let's go back to this bass. Here's that bass that we, that we made mix ready. I might add just a little bit of low shelf for this, for this, but this is just a one oscillator. I think in part one I said it was two oscillators, but I had the amp all the way down on oscillator two. So this is a one oscillator sound, and it sounds really cool. Now if I start to do more oscillators, That's a cool sound, but it's not as focused. It doesn't really fit a genre. And there's just some things going on that make it, I, I would find, less usable in an actual production. So what I'll typically do in the oscillator section where I don't, you know, try to do too much is I'll usually try to use one or two oscillators. And if I have to, I'll use a third. But maybe it'll just be like a modulation type thing or a macro where it's, there's an L LFO controlling it or a really weird custom-shaped envelope just to add some character. Typically, with most sounds, you can get away with using one or two oscillators and be fine with it. And just because there's three doesn't mean you need to use them. I mean, how many soft synths have, have we all seen or used that actually have like six oscillators or two pages that have four or five, six oscillators? It's insane. You don't need that much. It's, it's just overkill. It's the digital overkill that we all live, live with now. So let's move on to this, this uh, bass I haven't showed you yet. I've gotten so many requests on how to make this bass sound inside a massive. It's insane. It's that FM style bass that is very stereotypical in deep house, garage, and genres like that. And if you look at this sound, there's no filters active. There is no insert effects. There's actually no noise. All you have to do to build this sound is load up a sine wave and then add to one oscillator you basically just have to add a little bit of phase modulation to give it that FM sound. So if I turn off the phase modulation, it's just a sine sub bass, right? And then you turn on the phase modulation, and now you have that classic deep house sound. And then I did introduce a second oscillator just to control sub, that's all, because the phase takes out a little bit of low end. And then the only effects I have on it are some slight delay and a little bit of reverb. That's really it. And that's insane because a lot of people think that that's a really hard sound to make or, or it's too much. Usually when I, when I find that people have a hard time making a sound, it's because they're doing too much and it gets them further away from the sound they're going for as opposed to just thinking, oh, this actually might just be a one or two oscillator sound. Now let's check out this pluck that we talked about earlier. All right, so you'll see right, right away, it's just a one oscillator sound. It's just a saw wave. I have one filter. 
I don't have any modulation oscillator, no insert effects, just some delay and reverb, that's it. But that's all a pluck really needs, right? Because it's not something that needs to take up the the whole a whole part of a mix. So there's three examples of three different sounds, bass, pluck, and it, this applies to leads too, that it just it just works, it just fits. You don't need to do too much. Less is usually more with sound design. All right, I'll see you in part three.